I'm Rachel Franklin, and I'm excited to introduce you to the next generation of The Sims. <laughs> Smarter Sims. Sims with real personalities. And the stories you'll tell about these Sims will be entertaining, meaningful, and sometimes a little weird. In previous games, you controlled the mind and body of your Sims. In The Sims 4, for the first time, you control their hearts. Here we are in our create a sim, where you decide what your sims look like, and brand new to The Sims 4, who they are. You define your sims' personality. The traits and aspirations that you choose influence their emotions, how they behave, and how they respond to other sims. So you could make a hot-headed athlete who loves literature, or a romantic nature lover with a touch of insanity. You have so many possibilities at your fingertips, so many Sims to create. The Sims 4 features lively, vibrant neighborhoods, rich communities where anything can happen. This is a deep simulation where every Sim has their own story, and they're all connecting, colliding, and influencing each other's emotions. So the local gym is a great place for me to show you how personality and emotions influence your gameplay. You can tell how your sims are feeling at a glance. Happy. Depressed. Energized. So let's meet Chuck. I've made him a hothead, so he's already prone to flying off the handle. And I can push him even further. So today he's really fired up and he's working out those abs. Well, how did I get him into this state? It all kicked off last night when I introduced Chuck to Gladys, his rather eccentric neighbor. I made Chuck recite some of his poetry, but I haven't leveled up his skills yet, and frankly, his poems suck. So this is when the power of our simulation comes into play. Personality drives behavior, creating richer stories. And in this case, Gladys hates Chuck's poems so much she decides to get physical. Oh, Gladys. Losing really ruined Chuck's night, and he's still mad about it the next day. Now, I feel bad for Chuck. Let's cheer him up. And what better way to do that than by throwing a party? So it looks like it's working. The neighborhood's shown up, and Chuck is now feeling playful. He's cracking jokes. He's becoming the life of the party. Uh-oh, here's Gladys, and she's still looking for a fight. Her foul mood is affecting everyone else. I need to inject a dose of fun to this party, and I know just how to do it. I leap into the all-new gallery to look for something special. It's full of wonderful homes and sims created by other players. And for the first time, you can share their sims complete with their full personalities. I can bring another player's sim straight into my game. It's that simple. So ladies and gentlemen, meet Princess. Now the party's really booming. And check out those dance moves, huh? Chuck's having so much fun, he can't stop laughing. I'm pushing his emotions to the extreme. In fact, he is laughing so hard, he dies of laughter. So where else can you find moments like this? The Sims 4 is unlike anything we've ever made. These new smarter Sims are full of personality and humor, and the possibilities when you play with life are simply endless. We invite you to create your own weird stories on September 2nd, when you'll get to play with the next generation of The Sims.